find the bus driver. There you go. Predeter predetermined characters. Great. I really hey, I mean, this. the I mean, if you're gonna get anybody killed, like, no, that's I'm literally gonna play here with the intention of offing myself at some point <laughs> if I'm stuck with this twat forever. That little girl, she sounded so strange. Oh, I could barely fuck understand. Fuck off. She sure sounds. Like Listening to you talk brings me here. pain. <laughs> I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. What is the run button? Uh, left bumper? She just can't run? Is that what we're getting at? Yeah, it's like a fast walk. That's what I was gathering. Yeah, fuck it. Go to the house. <laughs> Go into the abandoned house. Right. Maybe we'll lose a character. Hello. The postcard. Sick, dude. Yeah, who the hell was that? I have zero idea. But I found a collectible. <laughs> I guess let's go back to the main road. Weird, weird controls for this view. Like it was fine to go forward and then it suddenly stopped going forward. You see that? The deer. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? <sighs> Might get a better view from up there. Yeah, go up there. View? <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I'm going towards the thing. Was there something on the side of the road? Hmm. No, never mind. I mm -hmm. thought I saw like a, a white indicator. Mm, I guess I should follow Andrew, huh? We need a collectibles. In this ghost town. With beer cans. <laughs> That's a lot to read. <laughs> mm -hmm. I ain't reading all that. Fuck that. Hey, let's get this dialogue over I with. Hoping. I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? Uh, your bus flipped. I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? <laughs> Blank stare. Appreciate you checking in with me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I, um... Hmm. Um, hmm. I'm not really good at this reassurance thing. Zombies. Swamp thing. You make my heart sing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you mean everything <laughs> swampy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Classic. Yeah, let's stop at every blinking thing. Which? 
Oh, it's a plague. Does this have something to do with what we saw? No. <laughs> I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Blank stare. <laughs> Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. Historical weirdos. Historical weirdos. Final for answer. Sure. Yep. You ever met a normal person that's obsessed with World War II? I fucking haven't. Or the Civil War? Yeah. Oh no, they're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I should just make it, this chick say nothing. Every <laughs> every decision is just every decision is like no de deadpan fucking stare. Um, I I I think it's funny that like a group of people that were on a bus that ended up crashing because somebody was in the middle of the road choose to walk down the middle of the road. Mm hmm. This is every like horror movie trope ever. No, oh, something is chasing us. We might die. Oh no. Let me walk down the middle of the road. So yep. everybody can see me. Yep. Don't worry about safety. Do emotional check-ins. Yeah. Hey, how are you feeling? <sighs> like I'm stuck. I still concussed. Yeah, still concussed and like I'm stuck There's walking this fucking road. Nobody cares. I wanted nobody to be there. Never huh. be by yourself. Same. And then like the sleepy hollow ghost like takes her head. <laughs> Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that. Hey. Wait. Stop. You stop. I'm just going to say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. Yep. I'm gonna send my character that direction. What the hell do we do now? Walk towards it. Say hi. Introduce yourself. I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Oh yeah, my fucking hero. I hope so. Is it gone? <laughs> Make her a mute. <laughs> Deadpan fucking stare. Hey, professor! Look out! Damn it! It's a sniper! It's just like what happened to us. You think the professor will be okay? Yeah. This is not the time for heroics. Little harsh. He could be in deep shit. What is this? Maybe you should have gone with him instead of standing here hoping someone else would step up. Wow. Back yeah. Up. I could say the same to you. We both had the chance. I'm old. I'm done with holding everyone's hand. John can take care of himself. You're a real piece of work sometimes, you know that? Yeah, hate me. <laughs> That's actually in line with how we met her, like her character. Yeah, right. Being just a little bitch. I've lived a thousand lifetimes. <laughs> what what year is it? I've suffered a thousand cuts. <laughs> I've seen a thousand deaths. <laughs> you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Did you see the little girl? I could see you back there. That's really odd, because I sure couldn't see you. Your clothes looked different, and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. It must have been someone else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Now please stop, you're scaring me. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. 
Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without. And yet you referenced one earlier. This no isn't in every horror movie ever. They're dumb. I hate them. <laughs> Do nothing. I guess someone should go with her. Really? I'd be okay on my own, but sure. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. Do you? As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. This is Andrew Intersection. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, the intersection is where we are. It's probably like a checkpoint or something. Ah. Uh. In case we wanted to go back and <laughs> reload. Yeah. Hold up. You hear that? Nope. Oh, yep. Nice. Push. Thanks. Did we seriously just run from a biker? Yep. Are we okay here? We're good. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, You're an old drunk. Somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. What the fuck was that? You got an explanation what we just did? Talking? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can what do you think out. happened? <laughs> It wasn't the witch trial where the witch gets off scout free. That? You look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... Uh, what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. Yep, it's also difficult to nose. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Grow up a little, Andrew. If you were stuck with Taylor, you would be no different. We should catch up with John. So she's suggesting that we just like murder John, basically. No, like she was, she was saying that like, oh, Taylor just wanted to go off by herself, so she should fuck Daniel. It's like okay, that's a little like why. Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You We're shouldn't. In my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive. Do my best. That's all anyone could do. 
Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there... You think that was really supernatural? Yeah. It's literally the definition of supernatural. Look that way. Creepy little girl in the fog. Then whatever the hell that was back at the intersection. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. I like how, like, saying nothing sometimes just ends it. Like, ends the dialogue between the two people. Hey, you coming with? Hello? Fuck. Wait! Coward. Really is. Great job. Glad you made it over. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. Uh. Huh? <laughs> if you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. You're kidding. We couldn't stand to be away from you for a second longer. He's right. We were both freaking out because we thought whatever was back in that hut might have eaten you. The cat? I think that's very unlikely. The terrifying creature in the hut was in fact a cat. Let's carry on, shall we? The heartbeat events um, this place is our best shot. are difficult. There must be a radio or a you just have to press the button when it comes up? or You have to press it like it's on a heartbeat track, like bump bump. We can break hmm. Bump bump. I got a rock. I found a rock. It's under the rock. Nye, 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 nye. Nye. <laughs> under my knee. My hand is under my knee. <laughs> Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? Seriously. The will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Yeah, dick measuring. <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie can make a shot like that? You threw a rock through a window. Yeah. Like, at 10 paces. Yeah. Like, yeah. you just said it's not that difficult. You said anyone could make it. 
You think a rookie can make that? You think a rookie can make that shot? No, all of a sudden I'm full of myself. Yeah. It's a cake. You're up next. Fuck you. Seriously. <clears throat> Yay! <laughs> we get to see Daniel finally. Fine. <laughs> I got the two people I didn't want. <laughs> I'd swap you controllers, but the decisions we've made matter, Tim. Mm, yeah. We could play Daniel like a mute. <laughs> I'm already doing that with the old lady. No, you're making her super resentful and bitter. Oh yeah, matching her personality. You want me to make him a mute? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend a really to subdued. Or however you just want to play him. Oh, I just make him super submissive. Give him real bottom energy. <laughs> he's trying to run around like Yeah, a between him and Taylor, he's definitely probably at the bottom. Mm -hmm. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. I don't care what that noise is. How about that? <laughs> Wonder what closed the school down. Probably the fire of Silent Hill. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Um. We should have stayed with the others. This was a bad idea. Yeah. No way was I going into that nightmare town. I was going to the nightmare school instead. <laughs> we'll find another way. <laughs> Zero. Sixteen ninety two. It's older than the country. Follow the little girl. <laughs> little hope is that way. Playground. Okie dokie. Mm hmm. <laughs> ah, yes, this garden will have help. Oh, no, wait, this is the playground. This garden will have the phone I'm looking for. There are also, like, lanterns, like, fairly often. Yeah. I'm surprised people are using their phones. Over there! Hey. Are you okay? Is this the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. Nice. Tell me that didn't just happen. Quiet now. Hurry up, we go. What are you talking about? Get away, or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! Let go of her right now! What spell have you cast? I am frozen to my marrow. I can do nothing. Amy is the caster of spells. She is the one in league with the devil. 
I saw her in the forest together with her familiars. I am innocent. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. Thank you kindly. Be silent, child. Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. We know. <laughs> no one's surprised by that. No. At least you're aware of that super empty fucking head of yours. Yeah. That was just like the comment, like, I never liked school. Yeah, we probably could have guessed that. Yeah. No way. Looked like you were more into, like, sports or cars. Bold. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. And one car, too. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, you can find pictures of things that might happen. Might happen. I really want that to happen, because <laughs> I don't have to listen to her anymore. You're glad I'm here? Doesn't seem like that to me. Yeah, that'd be great. So that other group is just me playing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're back over here trying to kill the one person you don't want to play. Yep. I gotta, like... Like, can I give you John? <laughs> so I can kill him off, too. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. Annie Annie over, send Taylor on over. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Well, it's a good thing I can't see what happened anyway. <laughs> it's, I, I mean, I'd love to blame you for that, but... I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must mm -hmm. lead somewhere, though. I'm yep. not so sure. There's barely even a path. Very, very good. Yes. Everywhere leads somewhere. <laughs> you two are nailing it. Yeah. So There's glad that you two are together. Over here, look at this. Okay. Close the factory, show the land. Burn the witches. That happens all the time. Like a, a business that's built around a town. Yeah. What are you doing? Thing closes, town goes into poverty. Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I thought you were all muscle. Nope, they're all for show, baby. Yeah, it really didn't need to be flush with the window, now that I see what you're going for here. Alright. Hold my phone. Let me see if I can get this open. Go through it. <laughs> Again, what is this like? I it's like, like that cat from the game we were playing earlier. Like he just he just throws himself through the window. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Meow at the door, the door opens, jumps out the window. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? You're going in there? Unless you got a better idea, you're keeping to yourself. Because your genius plans have worked out so well. I'm just throwing back the same shit you're shoveling. Oh you're shit! Up, Daniel. <laughs> hey, I need your phone. Oh, there's like buzz saws it's or something on the other end of this. It's dark in there. I need a light. You want to leave me out here alone without a phone? 
Don't worry, I'll take good care of your precious phone. It'll make it through. Take it, but break it and it's your life. Foreshadowing. <laughs> right? Is he wearing khakis? Yes. Is that Jake from State Farm? I'm in. No, no way. Daniel from State Farm. Is it safe? Is it secret? <laughs> Is it secret so. and safe? Come on, will you? Just go through the fucking window. Like <laughs> Open the door for Taylor. Open an old door. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go be a dick to everybody else. Oh, this is that house that burned down, probably. No. That's what it looks like. It's a factory. <gasps> Fall on him. I would. I might actually get my wish. You gave me a shock. Shit, sorry. Should I call you a nurse? <laughs> <laughs> you, we should have had you playing her, right? This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass, useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. I ain't going to no front. Oh, you're gonna. Hold on. I'll be right there. Oh, man, I want inside. I want to play, too. <laughs> Will you relax? I'm coming. Oh, you're so getting axe murdered. Yeah. about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? There is talk that I'm Sean and Angela. Devil, that I'm guilty of <laughs> witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is he? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy. <laughs> Open the door, Joseph. Ah, yes. There's that deer in the headlights Enough look. Your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. Um, demanding. What? Who the hell are you anyway? Silence. I'm going for super, like, pushover timid if anybody shows any sort of aggression, but then, like, overly aggressive where I can be. For no fucking reason. <laughs> Basically a hothead. Yeah. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. 
trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Say nothing. I know you've just seen something. You've got to tell me. Right now. Say nothing. <laughs> God damn it, Tim. <laughs> Like some dumb kid. I can handle it. Oh, we really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Oh. Oh. It's handy. That was a really weird cut. Yeah, right? What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Uh. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. You are so pleasant. Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Huh? <laughs> Nailed it. <sighs> oh, fine. I didn't want to know what was in there anyway. <laughs> I was gonna. Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you know what else you got for me? This was her way out. Splice the wires back together. Sorry, I didn't mean literally. I don't think you can. Yeah. I like how they're still looking for a phone, but not like considering the fact that they still need to bring power to this place for that phone to fucking work. Oh, uh, all their phones don't need power to work, actually. The uh, like rotary phones and shit. Yeah. Like pre cordless phone. Yeah, you didn't need electricity. Mm, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but that's all, and it's all dependent on somebody being on the other side. 
I feel like, or at least in the time period that we're in. Oh, like you're saying you need an operator? Yeah. No, I mean, you didn't. I mean, that's how they did it back then, but you don't necessarily need an operator to connect you. No, it's just all done automatically. Why Why am I just, like, looking at the fucking ceiling? I thought you were doing it on purpose. No, like, I walked into this room and he's like, Damn. Nice. <laughs> What's up there? Oh. Okay, he levels off the flashlight when, like, I start moving. But maintains the flashlight if I don't move. Uh, which, like, I don't know. I don't know why he was looking at the ceiling. He shouldn't have been. No, he definitely shouldn't have been. It's a weird thing to do. Alright, I'm officially, like, lost. If anybody else find anything, I'm not good at finding things. Like, less can cost. Oh, a Chuck E. Cheese token. Ryan Reynolds? And Ryan. Shit. Cat butthole, got it. <laughs> Gotta sew that patch on. You've had the patch for 10 years. Yeah, I know. I don't know how to sew. It's taking a long time. It's taking a long time to learn. I also don't put any time into it. All right, good. The good talk door. Partially annoyed where you're finding all this stuff, and then you just set it back down. You pick it up, you look at the back of it, and then you set it down. Yeah, it's, um... Get locked in. I've lost everything. Mm -hmm. Is that everything or everything? Everything. Hey, how are y'all doing? Anybody? Y'all um, dead? <laughs> God, one can dream. I was kind of hoping, like... Yeah, I thought I thought we would have lost people by now. Not necessarily lost people. I mean, we're well on our way, especially the way that I'm treating the two characters I, have, unfortunately, have control over. Oh, I think it's like a reality show. Like, the worse they treat you, like... The, the more they're going to keep them around. Mm. Like the shittier person they are. Hey, an <laughs> Xbox controller. Yeah. And a knife. Or just a moon. Uh, yeah. TC. Taylor's crotch. I have to explore the whole damn place myself. Fuck. We have a winner. Found a phone. There's no I would, plugged in. I would have checked it first instead of being all fucking be proud. Mine's dead. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Seriously. The cable is missing? Uh, there's gotta be a cable here someplace. I was actually just thinking that. Just bring the phone with you. Yeah, like Angela's becoming like the voice of reason. Like a good counter to John. Who's basically just a maniac. Yeah, he seems like, um, unstable. Mm-hmm. Uh, cable, cable, cable. Cable, cable, cable. Cable from the X-Men. Cable guy starring Jim Carrey. That was the moon. Found the moon earlier. What is that? The phone. The fucking phone?
So answer what do you it. Think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Can you tell me what you're upset about? There's too much crust on my pizza. <laughs> the kids. The kids that won't stay out of my gutters. And the goddamn squirrels won't do their homework. Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of This supposed to be you? A reckoning that will shut you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. Do! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you turned against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your you touch will no release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master can I help you now. It is too late. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. 
Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. How in the hell is that even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. But seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death. Drowning, hanging, burning. Well, let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped... Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey! You in there? Come on, let's go. We split the party for far too long. Right. Hey Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. That doesn't make any sense. Let's right. all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's going to happen to her next? I like the idea. It's How like, why? Because it affects you? That yeah, <clears throat> that seemed like an odd turn. We've been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Okay. <laughs> I think we're at two hours should we cut here. Uh, if we can. Otherwise, these are... Uh, I have to look it up. Like, how much? How long is a movie night playthrough? Five hours. Are they five hours? Mm -hmm. Holy cow. I looked it up. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Two hours in. Yeah. I looked it up on 
one of the other times and I was like, how long is this? And it was like, I thought they were going to be three. I thought it was three hours. And I was just like, we could do this. We can hack out one. No, 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 no. Probably just finish it next time. Probably. Yeah. Bye little beans. Bye.